face. Don't get in my face. Don't get in my face. Do not get in my face. Don't get in my face. Don't get in my face. Don't you see my daughter right here? Is you crazy? No, 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 no. You need to go over there to the men. You need to go over there to the men. Only here in Chicago. You is a man. A whole grown man. Wow. Over at the park. For the last time, I'm not mad. I'm sorry. I don't know what. Mental illness is real. He dressed up in like like a rag doll. He like a dirty sex toy trying to go in the women's bathroom with a wig on and a full beard talking about he's not a man. And not only that, he's pushing on this woman and he's traumatizing that girl. This is traumatizing. This is weird. This is not regular behavior. And why do these men always compare themselves to the women like they are real women? He talking about he look fabulous. No, you don't. You can never be fabulous in the eyes of a man that's into women. This is crazy. Look at him like he just left a homeless shelter. He looked like he shopped at the Goodwill. Yo got a shingle jacket on. He like a whip. Yo look like a voodoo doll with Adidas slippers on. Okay, I'm good luck. Good luck. If y'all have a problem with me using the bathroom, y'all can go to the Hey man, use another bathroom. Excuse me? Just use another bathroom. There's a child in there. What? Man. That's a child. You just say what you, huh? Yo like seven foot tall. Look at him. This is crazy. This is what we this is why you give them inch they take a yard. Use the men's bathroom. Regardless of how you feel about yourself, your body, you are a man. I'm pretty sure you ain't have no surgery. You was gonna go in there and whip your penis out and piss. While that girl is in there. You lucky that's the mom. Cause if that was me, it wouldn't have been all this talking. I would have whipped ass. That's a child in there, a okay. little girl. Like, okay. use the men's bathroom. Okay. I'm a woman. Mm. What's the matter? Mm. Yeah. What's the matter? You need to mind your world business. Is coming At to least to mind your business. This is where world is coming to. Right. I don't know what you're about to learn a lesson. Man, you had a, man, you had a children's right park, man. Right. Chill. What are you saying? It's a kid park, man. Yeah, do you even have any kids? Yo, right just use the, the other bathroom, man. <laughs> Y'all need to mind your business, first of all. Mind your business. Before no, it is. He is minding his business. He's. Actually, you lucky he ain't all up in your ass space. He is minding his business. Look at that girl. Look at the mom. Look at this. This is crazy. Dude, you're probably just a pervert. That's what you are. If you feel that way, fine. Feel that way. But you, yo, dude, come on, man. Where do we draw the line? Where do we draw the line? This is ridiculous. We got to protect women and children at all costs. And look at this man. People, y'all get included in some stuff you don't want to be included in. No, okay? you need to uh, go. You need to go. Seriously. No, you no. not. My daughter has to go to the bathroom. I'm not going to allow you to come in the bathroom where she's going to use the bathroom. Not about the police. That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. I don't care what you're talking what? about. Please watch your kids at the park. What? Please pay attention to where they're going. You can either leave or you can deal with you it. You're going to have to move. You're going to have to move. Oh, easy, easy. You're going to have to move. Oh, no. You're going to have to move. So not only is he, he's going to force his way in the bathroom. He's going to force his way in the bathroom. He don't care that, he don't even, he don't even care about the kid. He's that delusional on who he think he is that he don't even have respect for the kids. Even the shooters back in the day used to tell the kids to go in the house. Like, he don't even care about the kid. And not only that, he's fighting on the mom, trying to force his way into the bathroom. This is crazy. And then when you speak on stuff like this, it make it seem like you're a bigot or something like that. Like you got something to people against people's sexuality. No. I'm pretty sure people in his community, if he really a part of the community, would probably have a problem with this video as well. But what he's trying to do. And again, it's always the men that want to be women that's trying to be in women's spaces, women's sports, around kids, acting like they women. It be these men, they be creeped out. Yo, he could be a pervert. Anybody could say just to get their little rocks off, dress up as a woman, and go in the bathrooms. Look at this dude. Looking like a daggone dirty sex toy. Look at him. 
That's crazy, man. And he's at a park. So let imagine if you send your kid to the bathroom. Hey, y'all playing fr- on the y'all playing on the swings. You're playing frisbee. You know, you're having a nice day with your kid, and your daughter gotta go to the bathroom, and, and he's going in there. Regardless of what he think about himself, kids don't know nothing about that weird shit. You just a man with a wig going trying to go in the women's bathroom. Man, this is a a, a problem waiting to happen. Like, and then if you get in a fight with the guy, it's oh you're you're um you um like a hate crime or something like that because you're trying to protect your family. You know what I mean? You don't want them traumatized because this person is confused about who he is and he wanna, you know, pit it on everybody else. Like the way people have sex is their business. It's it's in your house, it's in your bedroom. Everything shouldn't be like I can't wear the way I have sex on me. Or, you know what I mean? Like my cause that's what it boils down to. Like whoever you is in your personal life when you're home or even when you're walking, you're not bothering nobody. Cool. Like, but we got to respect people. We got to respect people's uh, space, man. Like it's granted freedom of speech, freedom and everything like, but still at the same time, we got to have a level of decorum and respect for other people, regardless of what we think we are, whatever we into. And that's just common courtesy for our human beings. And even him. Her, whatever you want to be, deserves common courtesy from somebody else. So is it good? No, we don't get to act like that. 